Welcome back guys, I am Muni from smarttutorials.net This is a series of tutorials on how to integrate jQuery autocomplete with the Laravel cake page and code ignitor. Please check the video description for the demo or download link. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to implement simple jQuery autocomplete uh, in KPHP. Before that I am planning to complete the navigation part because when you, when you click on something it's the navigation is broken. So for that I am planning to keep the uh, base path in configuration. Okay, this this is the root of the application. Okay. But the problem with keeping the base path in uh, config is when someone says the base path of um, the application URL, uh, you need to change the base path every time. So, so for that, what I'm planning to do is instead of keeping the base path um, in config file, I'm planning to detect the uh, base, base path dynamically in app control itself. From if you combine base URL and URL, you I am getting the base path of this this base path i'm getting i'm just creating constant and putting the base path in the constant okay now i'm using this base path i can use the this base path throughout throughout the applications so now i'm fixing the issues with the navbar okay go to the element navbar cdp now check this yeah the navigation is asking now i'm planning to add the in home page i'm planning to add the uh, link to the other other pages so now um, they had a two link the home page that's it so just reload the page yeah single and uh and pointing to the multiple next to the single uh, dot ctp i'm planning to add the form so it's just a booster form so i just created form with the employee ID, first name, last name, uh, all the fields. Just reload and check. Yeah. So to implement uh, jQuery on we need to write the custom JS, right? For that, I'm just creating a um, new JS file, single dot JS. So inside that, um, yeah, reload check. So by default, uh, so I, we created, we are not loaded uh, that uh, single dot JS in, into single dot CDP. For that, I'm using HTML helper method, uh, script method to load the single dot JS. So now reload. Yeah, it's loaded. Now I'm selecting uh, the employee text field. Okay. And attaching the autocomplete functionality. Okay. So uh, we need to pause the options. So I can, I can, I'm assigning some, some static data to check. Apple Orange. So now reload. If you type A, yeah, it's working. So, but, um, but what we need is when users such as employee ID, we need to make Ajax call to get the dynamic data based on the user enters. So for that, um, when users enter something, and uh, the jquery uh, uh, will call this callback function uh, in the request so in this function takes two parameter one is a request and another is callback okay so in the request uh, whatever user centers here i can get the in request dot time okay so here um, i'm making ajax call to the get employees uh, get employees and passing that employee id whatever user says such as okay so i'm making a get get request and data type is i'm expect the response from the ajax call needs to be json in the success method i'm checking a lot of things okay so for before that uh, i need to create a, a get employees function here okay get employees also i am next adding a routing some routing changes okay whenever user makes call to the get employees and passing id i am pointing the controller and action uh, action is get applies okay so if you um, now check this 
so when so whatever the data we passed uh, to this method we can get via get param so this is the id so in yeah id get param we are getting that whatever the parameter we passed i'm just printing it printing it okay now reload and clear this and search enter i think we are getting yeah base path is not even we, got, we are we are trying to access the base path here but we are not defined any base path okay in in layout keep the base path in the idle field okay so that we can get this base path everywhere in js file so in single dot js i'm getting i'm getting the base path value and assigning it to the base path okay now reload and enter something it made an ajax call and so we got we got whatever uh, the data we passed to this get implies okay now um, i already uh, written um, raw sql query so before that i am uh, adding some condition when the id is empty throwing the empty array and print uh, exit okay when when id is present uh, i'm preparing raw sql query so in order to run um, raw sql query in cake page we need to use the connection manager so use connection manager then get the connection get the connection so we got the default connection because we uh, in if you check app dot php this is default connection so we're getting whatever the config we made so it uses those configuration and connect to this database autocomplete database and gives uh, the connection of that okay now we got the connection and executing the statement finally we got uh we got some uh, data and returning those reload i check and end of six it made a connection i got the response so we got the response okay now in single dot js file we got the response when the uh, check this okay in the response yeah yeah we got the response when users uh, select some employee id we need to auto fill all these things right so using select method I'm adding few more configuration here. Uh, auto focus is true. So also min length. When at least user centers one character, then only we'll make Ajax call. So in select method, uh, when user selects some data, so we can we are getting that data in the selected data. Okay. So let's check this. Um, in selected just console it reload page 7 I'm selecting it check in console we are getting item in item object inside the item object item object I'm ch just checking I'm adding condition selected if the item is there uh, inside the item data okay inside the item one more object is so 
data is there if, if everything is there I'm coming inside this and uh, getting data of first name last name and whatever the value I'm assigning to the each field so now reload yeah we are filled so we check yeah so it's now successfully is working so one of the problem here we uh, you know introduce some security issues because we are directly uh, you know preparing the raw query uh, this uh, unnecessarily creates the uh, SQL ingestion attacks so uh, what I'm uh, planning to do is instead of directly use whatever the data user searches in employee ID field I'm use I'm planning to use the prepared statement KPH prepared statement okay so what I'm planning to do is, is so instead of directly running like this so that we are not directly assigning any value here in the query itself so while executing I'm using prepared statement and assigning that whatever the value uh, the ID value uh, we got okay so it, this prevents the SQL ingestion attack because this the security issue is taken care by the prepared statement okay now check this for yeah okay so as of now we are not created any model uh, to get the data because uh, whatever the operation related with the database we need to keep that script uh, data uh, the script in model itself it's not uh, great advice to keep the query in the control itself so maybe in, i'm in, in next tutorial i will cover how to create the model and use the cake pitch query builder uh, to get the data instead of making raw query okay uh, thanks for watching please subscribe and uh, press the bell icon to get the updates immediately